Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to cover the company management dashboard um, or the management view and just talk about everything that's on it. All right. So big picture idea behind this page is to let you see what's going on with your business. So there's a lot of aggregated numbers and um, it's not going to let you really dig into things, but it gives you a bird's eye view of your company. So there's two parts to this page. There's the charts and there's the numbers. Now these numbers down here, uh, they make up these, uh, these two charts, the top and the bottom chart. Um, and then the, the two pie charts here, those come from our inventory and sales numbers. That's not too important. We'll talk about what those are and why we have them. So let's start up here. This is probably gonna be one of the most useful charts for you because it shows you total sales, total cost of goods, and then gross and net profit. So the green bar is your total sales for a given month. The blue bar is your total cost of goods for a given month. And then your, um, your gross profit is the white line and your net profit is the green line. So this can be helpful to see month to month. Uh, if you select and drag, you can zoom in on a specific period of time if you don't want to uh, use the filters, which we'll get to in a second. All right, so next up, we've got current inventory summary. Uh, so this shows you percentages and uh, what are those percentages? So what they are is the percentage in terms of dollar value of inventory that you have based on department. So I've got $2,689.96 of women's inventory and $567.22 of men's inventory. Uh, the point of that is to just tell you dollar-wise, how is your inventory distributed? And then over here, you have the same thing, except instead of looking at inventory, you're looking at total sales or all-time sales. So all time I've sold like 7,400 in women's, 1,300 in men's, and then some in kids. And this just lets you kind of see, all right, does my sales distribution line up with my inventory distribution currently? Um, okay, so next up down here, assets to liabilities. So assets to liabilities, um, it, it tracks your biggest assets and liabilities, if you will. So most reselling businesses were pretty simple. We've got cash, we've got inventory, and we've got tax. Uh, we, we have got income tax and sales tax, but we'll just call that tax. So each one of these bars corresponds to one of those things. So the, the green bar here is uh, total sales tax liability, or how much do I owe in sales tax at the end of September? The blue bar is your total inventory. I have $3,300 in total inventory at the end of September, um, and so on and so forth. So income tax balance and cash balance. So if, this, if these numbers were actually true, you should be concerned because your cash balance that your business has, it doesn't um, it, it's less than what you owe in taxes. So that's a problem. Also, your inventory is so much higher than what you have in cash. Really, that's effectively cash that you've put on the shelf. Now, um, these inventory balances are going to be really useful for you when tax time comes around. The reason for that is because the IRS doesn't let you expense inventory until it sells. And so one of the reasons, uh, to get a program like My Reseller, G My Reseller Genie that uh, is able to give you balances at the end of each month is you can, um, when you're doing your taxes, you can say, you can look back and say, oh, at the end of uh, 2021, here's what my inventory balance was. And then when you get to your doing your taxes in 2022, you don't have to dig through files and stuff. You've got it all right here in My Reseller Genie. You can just go and say, okay, that was my tax or my inventory balance then. 
here's my inventory balance now. And the IRS uses those numbers along with purchases to calculate your cost of goods for the year. So this is really gonna help you at tax time, um, just eliminate headaches. Okay, and by the way, there's always headaches during tax time, so I won't take them away <laughs> entirely, but it's gonna get rid of a lot of headaches that you would have otherwise. All right, so we've gone through the charts and now we're into the uh, financials report. Uh, we used to call this numeric overview. So this has a bunch of different numbers and I'm not gonna read through all of them because you can do that, but you've got balances like the inventory balance, you've got totals for sales, COGS, uh, all that good stuff. You have calculated values like gross profit and net profit. So if you don't really enjoy looking at graphs and stuff like that, you can come down here and you can see all the numbers right here. And hey, you know, if there's numbers that you want next to each other, you can really easily do that through uh, using this column filter thing here. So if I wanted to look at my inventory, my sales and my profit side by side, you just click on columns and then click the ones you don't want to see. Very easy, very simple. Um, right now, my reseller Genie doesn't have uh, an expense detail, but we do allow you to put in aggregate amounts or total amounts for other business costs or other cogs if you if you want to have all your numbers in one place and you can see them all on the dashboard. So you'll have to use uh, something like uh, another spreadsheet or maybe QuickBooks or something like that to track those other expenses. Um, but you can put them in here so that all your numbers are, are together. Um, that's a feature we're planning on adding in the future, um, but we're not done yet. So this is what we have for now. You can also put in your income tax payments and your sales tax payments, and that'll reduce the balances that you show on your assets to liabilities chart for, for those tax balances. And this right here, um, it's, it's something that's kind of reseller specific. So resellers have you know, all these different accounts and your money sits in your reselling accounts until you pull it out. Um, so if you're one of those people who doesn't always pull your money out and doesn't always have it in your bank account for one reason or another, you can enter it in here so that that cash will show up in My Reseller Genie. The one thing you have to be aware of is it doesn't, you know, track from month to month like a bank statement does. So you would have to go in and manually edit at the end of every month how much cash you have for it to be accurate. So that's kind of a reseller specific thing. It's not really a proper accounting practice, but it's fine for, you know, for reselling if that's, you know, how you run your business. Okay, so that's the company management dashboard. And I hope this video was helpful. If you have further questions, just reach out to us uh, through support at myresellergenie.com. Uh, we also have a Facebook page specifically dedicated for support. You can join that, ask questions, and someone will help you out. All right. Thanks so much and have a great day.